Okay, so the reminder theorem says that when fx, so this is a function that they give to me in this question, determine the reminder when this function, um, when fx, this, is divided by a linear expression, this, the reminder is f in the point b over a, um, where the b over a that you substitute into your function, um, you get by making this bracket zero. So when this is divided by this, um, you make this zero, you solve for x, and that x value you substitute into this, and that will give you the remainder. Right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take x plus 3, make that zero. That means that x is negative 3. And then I substitute negative 3 into my equation, x cubed minus 8, where the x is now negative 3. Um, and this, well, you can just use your calculator um, from there, but this is negative 25, negative 35, negative 27 minus 8 negative 35, which means um, the remainder when dividing this function by this function is negative 35. Right. Um, in the next question, they say given that gx is x cubed minus kx plus 3, so here they have a missing value in the function. If this function is divided by x plus 1, um, the remainder is 12. So you have a missing value in your function, but they give you the remainder, the answer. Determine the value of k. Right. So yet again, I'm going to take x plus 1, um, and I'm going to make that 0, which gives to me that x is negative 1. And when I substitute negative 1 into my function, I should get the remainder 12. So my function is x cubed minus kx plus 3 and that should be equal to 12 but now my x is going to be negative 1. Right then this is minus 1 um, plus k plus 3 equals 12 um, and then if I take the 3 and the 1 over then 12 minus 3 plus 1 is 10, which means the value of k is 10. Right. Um, in this last question, they say, what is the value of p if fx, and they give me a function where there's a p in, is divided by x minus 3, where fx divided by x minus 3 has remainder 9. Now, this is very similar to this. Um, so I'm going to take x minus 3, uh, make that 0, the thing that I divide by, make that 0, then that means that my x value is 3. And when I substitute 3 into my function, I should get remainder 9. Um, now my function is x cubed minus 2x squared. Um, plus p x plus 6 and that should be equal to 9 um, yes where my x value is 3 now you can honestly just use a calculator to calculate this um, 3 times p is 3p um, and I'm just going to put 3 cubed minus um, 2 3 squared 3 squared plus 6 into my calculator, then that gives me 15. So 3p plus 15 equals 9, which means then that 3p is 9 minus 15, which is negative 6. Um, and then if I divide by 3 both sides, obviously, then I get p is negative 2. Right. Um, and this is this is basically in short how you use the remainder theorem.